Welcome, I'm the Wacky Musician, and this is Make and Play a Jingle Bell Stick, which is basically a miniature sleigh bell. So, this, this is one with only a few bells on it that I made earlier. If you're working with a large class, you may want to use smaller jingle bells. I've got this one here. It has the smaller ones. doesn't make as much noise, but with the smaller ones, you can get a lot more bells for the same price. So if you're doing it by yourself, get big ones for good sound. If you're buying tons because you're doing a class, get little ones. So let's get right down to the materials, because unlike other make and play vi paper videos, this is not solely dependent on paper products. We do need non-paper items in order to create these jingle sticks. Um, one thing you'll need is pipe cleaner. Can you see that from there? I've got a whole bag of it. Got these uh, clearance after Christmas. It's, it's January 30th right now, so it's just a little after Christmas, right before New Year's. And took advantage of some of the after Christmas sales. So, but they don't have to be Christmassy like this one is. Just regular pipe cleaner will work, just not as pretty. You'll also need to get jingle bells. You just can't make jingle bells out of paper. It just doesn't work. My bag's sealed here. I gotta get it open. Oh, that noise. Okay. Here I've got a bag of jingle bells. And I say these are the larger ones. I've also got smaller ones that I used when I did classes with this, so it didn't take quite so much money to produce them. These I got this whole bag for 50 cents from the dollar store on after everything was half price, so it was 50 cents. And I think there were 20 in this bag. The uh, smaller ones were 50 to a bag, so I was able to accommodate. 10 students per bag, I give them each five jingles to do this with. Now for today, I'm going to put a lot more than five on to make more of a jingle stick. But if you're working with a large group, five is plenty to make a jingle for the kids. And that way it doesn't cost you quite so much to create. If you can get them at the dollar store, that's a great way to get them because it's only a dollar bag. Uh, they probably won't have them once they clear their Christmas stock. Christmas is a good time to find them at the dollar store. Um, and the place you can find them is at Oriental Trading Company. Uh, they have them. I'm not paid by them. I don't get any money from them. They have usually have some sort of jingle bells in stock that you can order. Of course, you want them loose like this. You don't want them already attached to something. What else you will need, of course, is paper. I'm using three sheets. Uh, when I do it with the kids, we only use two. So it works fine with two. Three just makes it a little thicker. You'll need tape, as almost always. I'm using scotch tape. That's some type of tape. And good old scissors. They like to talk. Oh, no. And that's pretty much it for what you'll need. If you're teaching the class, you can make a lesson plan about sound uh, around any of these make and play paper instruments. Um, what I've done is, what I do, usually start with asking the students what sound is. And of course you'll get all sorts of crazy answers and some not crazy answers. Um, the older the student, the better the answers, of course. The little ones will probably name instruments or things that make sound. But what you want to try to lead them to is the word vibrations. And some of the really young ones might know that word and you might have to explain it to them. Basically something shakes a lot. Vibrations. So when I vibrate, I don't make much noise, do I? All right. But some things, when they make noise, vibrate. So vibrations is what sound is, and then we go over to asking what music is. That seems to be where the students will start listing instruments. But we, don't, we actually want to know what music is, not what makes music. Now, of course, music is sound, and you'll probably get, that, get to that point through the kids. You may not get to a definite answer. Everybody knows what music is, but it's hard to describe in words, isn't it? What we lead them to, and what, we want to, what I teach them, is that music is organized sound. So vibrations is sound, music is organized sound. Or as the Beach Boys put it, they're good vibrations. All right, now on with the project here. So we start by taking our paper. Say hello, paper. Hello. We're going to roll our paper on the long end of the wall. No, just the long end. Roll it fairly tight. Oops, I just knocked that off. Oh, sorry. Let me uh, move the camera so you can see what I'm doing better. So bye for now. But I'll still be talking. You just won't see me. All right, so again, first thing we need to do is take our paper, but pal, I have said I have three sheets you can use to roll it on the long side, so it's all the sheets are together. Roll it fairly tight, but it doesn't have to be too tight. Maybe about the size of a dime for the hole is good. Roll, 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 roll. All right, so you see that's about the size. Tape the seam shut. Um, I, I often like to tape the whole entire seam, but if you're working with a group, you can just have them do one at the top. Hopefully the tape doesn't cause any sound problems. One in the middle, and one at the bottom. And that's enough to hold it together. So you just have a tube right now, tubular. Now, I should have done this before we rolled it, but we can do it now too. Um, you have the option, and this is optional, but if you're trying to fill up a class period with kids, this is particularly helpful for using time, and it makes it look pretty, is to give them some crowns, and they can draw and color the top sheet, the sheet that's going to be on the top when you roll it. Now, or, as I'm doing, you can color it after it's rolled, but uh, the crown won't stick to the tape, so there'll be spots on the tape. That's just because I forgot to do this before I rolled it, so I'm just going to really quickly put some color on here, and I'll speed up the camera so it doesn't take forever. Oops, 
All right, so now I've colored it red and green, so it's a little Christmassy. But you can, they can color, you can color whatever you want. It actually, it works better to color it before you roll it, just on the one sheet that's going to be on the outside. But I forgot to do that. So there we go. Now the next step is to take your pipe cleaner. That's this, it's all pretty. Take some Jingle Bells. I'm going to use, before I make all that noise, <laughs> let me talk first. Now I'm going to use a ton of them. You can decide how many you want to use. You can use as little as three to as many as you can fit on the pipe cleaner. Uh, I, as I said, I think I said earlier, I use five when I do it with the students in smaller bells, just to save on cost. So here we go. Okay. Now most jingle bells come with a little loop here. You see that? A little loop at the top. A little hole is what I mean by that. And we're going to slide the pipe cleaner through there to attach it. My other jingle stick just fell off. Good at dropping things. So we're going to slide that on there. Incidentally, girls, I mean some boys too, but mostly girls wear necklaces. You can make a jingle bell necklace by doing this too with pipe cleaner. But that's not what we're doing. <laughs> so there's one. We just keep adding them. Two. We've got three. We can count. Four. Five. I think I'm going to fit one more. So really, I've gotten six. I'm going to try to get seven. We'll pull these closer together. Maybe even eight. I have no other use for these jingle bells I bought. Might as well get as many as I can on there. Yeah, I don't want too close together. But all right, putting more on. I lost count. We're at seven. I think I can get two more now. Eight. Ocho. Seven. Eight. Nine. And we're going to go to nine. And we, I think eight's good. We want to leave some room at the end of the pipe cleaner to attach it to the paper on each side. So don't put the jingle bells all the way to the end. So that's why I'm going to stick with that many. Now, take a piece of tape. Take your jingle bells on the pipe cleaner. Take the pipe cleaner up to the top here. Just put it kind of parallel to the top. Bend it so it curves around and take a piece of tape and tape it to the top. I'm going to tuck the extra tape inside the tube. I'm going to go ahead, my last one started to fall apart, so I'm going to put two pieces of tape here next to each other and make it a little stronger. And then you want to take it and just wrap it around the tube. Now you don't want it to go all the way down, and the reason for that is you want room for a handle, a place for you to hold it. Just round like a candy cane stripe. There we go. That's a good looking one. Lots of jingles. Move that one over a little bit. All right. Now you want to take tape on the last piece here of the pipe cleaner and tape it to the paper. Notice how, how much is blank here to be a handle to hold it by. So you don't want to wrap it all the way down. Grab another piece of tape. Not cutting. There we go. And we're going to tape that pipe cleaner on there. And I think I'll add more tape to it to make sure it stays. All right, so pipe cleaner's taped here, pipe cleaner's taped here, and you got jingle bells all throughout. That's actually it. That's all there is. Very simple little instrument to make. And you can see, with these larger jingles, it makes a pretty good jingle sound. All right, so that's all there is to it. You've got your wonderful jingle stick. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Jingle, 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 jingle. As always, this is a wacky musician going poof.